Kill you! You have to get drunk! Like, what's up? In the event of a crash, always stay inside your vehicle so you do not get hit by oncoming traffic. Do not come out until the police come for assistance or you pull your cars to the side of the road. If it is only a minor accident, pull your vehicles to the side of the roads and turn on your hazard lights to warn oncoming drivers. Are you a prepared driver with an emergency kit in an easily accessible compartment? No. In an ideal situation, a driver will come prepared with an emergency kit, a phone to call for help and to take pictures of the damage, a pen and paper to exchange information with the other driver, and their insurance card. It is legal to drive without your license as long as you know your social security number. Now that the cars are pulled to the side of the road, both drivers should come out of their cars and exchange information. Do you have eyes? Look at this that you made of my car! You're going like 10 in a 30 speed limit. Dude, you have to learn how to drive before you get back on the road! While exchanging information, be kind and courteous to the other driver. Do not blame each other for the accident. You'll need to exchange the following information. I'm going to need your name, address, and phone number. Okay, well, I need your insurance company, your policy number, your driver's license number. Don't forget your license plate number. Oh, duh. Make sure to take pictures of all the damage on the vehicles. Remember that you want your photos to just show the overall context of the accident in order to file an accurate report. Police will not always come to the scene of a minor accident. I got an F10 on 82nd Street. I need backup! If the police do not arrive, make sure you file a report with the station. Now that the police has arrived, the officers will interview both drivers and any witnesses that were around. So what's your side of the story, man? Well, she was, we were both driving down the road and she was driving a little slowly, so I thought she was going to speed up. But it turns out she wasn't, so when I sped up, my front bumper hit into her back bumper. And that's what happened. Thank you very much, man. So what happened to you? Well, I was just driving my car. It was a normal day. All of a sudden, this chick comes out of nowhere and dents my car. She was driving like she's on the dang out of whoa, 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 little Misty. When filing your report, you should not be venting to the officer. You should be giving a truthful and calm description of what occurred during the accident. Let's rewind. <laughs> So what happened here? Well, I was just kind of driving around, and then all of a sudden she comes out of nowhere <clears throat> and rear ends me. I see you properly pulled your cars over to the side of the road. Did you exchange information? Yes, we did. Thank you. I'm going to interview some witnesses before I go to the station and file a report. Sir? Sir? Yes, ma'am. Did you see this accident, sir? Yes, I did. What exactly happened? I was just walking on the sidewalk. I just saw my boys got popcorn. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I get some, I'm gonna call the edge. And um, well, I just saw this car, this white car right here. I saw it. Uh, I noticed it was going pretty fast for this little side street. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh man, it's gonna hit the silver car. Mm -hmm. And it did. <laughs> silver car. So, and it just rear-ended it. And Thank that's you. what happened in this accident. Thank you. The evidence you gave will help me fill out an accurate report of the accident. No problem. Buddy. Thank you, young man. The two drivers can decide to handle the situation in different ways. The first option is to involve the insurance company and file a claim. The second option is to deal with it on their own, which is better for ac minor accidents like this one. Now that we know what not to do during a car accident, here's what you should do. One, always stay inside your vehicle. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Let's pull over and we'll deal with this. Okay. Two, pull over and turn on your hazard lights. Three, always have your emergency supplies ready. Four, calmly exchange information with the other driver. Five, take pictures of the damage on the vehicles. 
six, report the facts to the officer. Do not state your opinions. So what happened here? Seven, decide whether or not to involve the insurance companies. Well, I don't think this damage is too bad. Ah, I'd agree. I think we can just handle it ourselves. Yes, I just did see this. What exactly? Well, I was just walking on the sidewalk. I wanted to sell my Boy Scout popcorn. So I get the koala man. Good luck with that. No, he's not doing that.